welcome to Compassionate Las Vegas, the podcast. We are here to host and inspire a network of compassion so that Las Vegas may be a more compassionate place to live, work, and play. I believe the need for more compassion is the most pressing issue of our time. Love and compassion are not luxuries, but are necessities for human survival. And here in Las Vegas, everywhere I look, I see compassion. We are part of a network of 440 compassionate cities in 56 countries and growing daily. This is Compassionate Las Vegas, the podcast where we highlight the strength of our city, the spirit of our people, and share your stories of compassion. Hello, and thank you for listening. I am Will Rucker, and it is my extreme honor and a great privilege to be hosting this brand new podcast for Compassionate Las Vegas. I am so excited about what is to come. You are truly in for a treat. We have some amazing guests lined up who will be sharing their stories of compassion. And not only that, Each episode will provide you with a much-needed tool for practicing self-compassion. In these incredibly challenging times, we all need to practice self-compassion. I know that this audience will be made up of the light workers and helpers and givers, the people who are selflessly and tirelessly working to make our world a better place. So it is my intention to make sure that you have exactly what you need to not only help others, but to also enhance your own wellness and practice what I call full circle compassion, which of course begins with you. As you heard in the intro, Compassionate Las Vegas is a part of a global network. We are a community of compassion that has come together to promote the universal values that we not only should adopt, but that we must adopt in order to survive. One of our first episodes features a truly extraordinary gentleman by the name of Dr. Gard Jameson. You will get to hear this amazing author, philosopher, philanthropist, and all-around amazing human being share more about Compassionate Las Vegas and the Global Charter for Compassion, which has been signed by the likes of Archbishop Desmond Tutu, Melissa Etheridge, Muhammad Ali, Quincy Jones, Paul Simon, and so many other amazing people. Stay tuned, because at the end of this episode, you'll get to hear the full Charter for Compassion. But I want to share this line that really stuck with me right now. We urgently need to make compassion a clear, luminous, and dynamic force in our polarized world. Rooted in a principled determination to transcend selfishness, compassion can break down political, dogmatic, ideological, and religious boundaries. Compassion is essential to human relationships and to a fulfilled humanity. Wow, that still gives me chills. I had to share it with you in this mini-sode of sorts, this introduction to the podcast, because I want to give you just a glimpse of what is to come. Truly, this is for everyone There's a unifying philosophy that expresses compassion in a single sentence. Nearly all moral and religious institutions have a version of it as their guidepost. I'm sure you've heard of it. The golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. And yet, even with this well-known universal philosophy, here we are, a world divided. And that's why this podcast is vital, not just to Las Vegas, but also to the world as a whole. I have devoted my life to uniting us all in this movement of compassion. Making compassion my guiding principle is absolutely the best way I've found to do that. It's bigger than religion. It's bigger than politics or anything else that can be polarizing. We're seeing more and more each day that we aren't just neighbors on this planet. We are roommates sharing one house that we call planet Earth. Now, Karen Armstrong sums up the Charter for Compassion as, and I quote, based on the fundamental principles of universal justice and respect. 
That's something we can all get behind because it's innately in all of our hearts. So I hope that you will affirm this charter and this principle by, of course, subscribing to this podcast and also by signing on to the charter. Go to CompassionateLV.org and you can learn more there. Here in Nevada, we are putting the golden rule on our license plates. So that's another way you can join in and promote compassion. You'll have to make sure you're a compassionate driver, though. It's not an ideal scenario to cut someone off, and the first thing they see is your golden rule license plate. Right now, one of the best ways, one of the easiest things you can do to champion this cause is to leave a five-star review and include your favorite compassionate practice. Practicing compassion boosts happiness, so this is definitely a win-win for all of us. One of my favorite practices is to purposefully assume positive intent. This is something I've made a daily ritual, and I invite you to try it this week. Each morning when you get up, say to yourself, each person I encounter is doing the best they can. Just like me, they seek happiness. Just like me, they've been wounded by sadness. Just like me, this person is learning about life. I choose to believe that they have positive intentions. This simple mantra of sorts helps to set your course for the day. And when tough situations arise, you've already set yourself up to handle them with compassion. Of course, empathy is a key part of a compassionate life. And this practice, for me, it helps to enhance my empathy in a very practical way. So I encourage you to try it this week, and please let me know how it works for you. Here on the Compassionate Las Vegas podcast, I want to highlight stories of compassion. There are so many wonderful things happening, and so many people have inspirational stories to share. So if you are one of those people, this is your platform. Email me at will at winningwithwill.com with the subject line Compassionate LV or Compassionate Las Vegas and let me know your story. I'd love to have you on the show or to feature you in a future episode. Also, for those of you who leave a great compassionate practice with your five-star review, be sure to check out future episodes because you may just be featured on the show. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe now so that you don't miss a single episode. I'm telling you, this is the podcast you've been wanting, you've been needing, you've been hoping for. I can't put into words how incredible the guests we have coming up are. These are truly amazing, extraordinary people, and you are going to benefit from their stories and their practices of compassion that they share. Love and compassion are not luxuries. They are necessities. Remember to treat others the way you want to be treated. Love yourself. Be kind to others. And share compassion with all. Post today's show, I want to be sure and extend my sincere appreciation and deep gratitude to the Jameson Foundation in partnership with the Moonridge Group for making this podcast possible. Your generosity is a beautiful expression of your hearts of compassion. So thank you. I also must thank you for listening to the very first episode of Compassionate Las Vegas, the podcast. Now, as promised, let's hear the charter for compassion. The principle of compassion lies at the heart of all religious, ethical, and spiritual traditions. Calling us always to treat all others as we wish to be treated ourselves. Compassion impels us to work tirelessly to alleviate the suffering of our fellow creatures. To dethrone ourselves from the center of our world and put another there. To honor the inviolable sanctity of every single human being. Treating everybody without exception. With absolute justice, equity, and respect. It is also necessary in both public and private life to refrain consistently and empathically from inflicting pain. To act or speak violently out of spite, chauvinism, or self-interest. To impoverish, exploit, or deny basic rights to anybody. And to incite hatred by denigrating others, even our enemies. Is a denial of our common humanity. 
We acknowledge that we have failed to live compassionately. And that some have even increased the sum of human misery in the name of religion. We therefore call upon all men and women to restore compassion to the center of morality and religion. To return to the ancient principle that any interpretation of scripture that breeds violence, hatred, or disdain is illegitimate. To ensure that youth are given accurate and respectful information about other traditions, religions, and cultures. To encourage a positive appreciation of cultural and religious diversity. To cultivate an informed empathy with the suffering of all human beings. Even those regarding as enemies. We urgently need to make compassion a clear, luminous, and dynamic force in our polarized world. Rooted in a principled determination to transcend selfishness. Compassion can break down political, dogmatic, ideological, and religious boundaries. Born of our deep interdependence, compassion is essential for human relationships and to a fulfilled humanity. It is the path to enlightenment and indispensable in the creation of a just economy and a peaceful global community.